As somebody like yourself who collects and resells sneakers, you probably know a thing or two about style. One question you should ask yourself is, why do you care about your style? If we're being honest, for the majority of us, 90% of it revolves around being perceived as more attractive. So, as a man, if you want your style to help you be perceived as more attractive, there's really only one single tip that you need to know and you don't need a lot of money for it. I suspect that many of you may disagree with my points in this video, but understand that in the same way I want to help you guys make money, I want to help you guys in other areas of life where I can too. Let's start with a question. Why do you think some of the most popular female streamers emphasize their look and style as gamers or anime fans? Is it because they're actually super interested in gaming or anime? Or could it possibly be a strategic business decision? Well, I prefer the Sims who actually give me money. You know what I mean? As a man, you have precisely the same opportunity. You see, those streamers know how to maximize their revenue by appealing to the male gaze. As a man, you'd want to appeal to the female gaze if you want to be perceived as more attractive through your style. Perhaps you're one of the few who already knows this, but you'd be surprised to see how many men can't grasp this basic concept. In fact, they actually lean extremely far away from the female gaze, often out of fear of being mocked by other men around them. As a reseller, you should know how markets work though. So why is it that you keep trying to satisfy the other sellers in the market rather than the buyers? For example, one of the most common male gaze features of an outfit is tight clothing to show off your physique, especially if you go to the gym. This is something that I always used to do, being someone who always worked out, thinking this would be helping me. However, this is not ideal for the female gaze. Counterintuitive to what you would think, you'd actually want to wear more loose-fitted, baggy clothing, potentially even oversized-fitted, at least when it comes to casual wear, which is what we're discussing. Maybe this is obvious for some of you, but you'd be really surprised to see how many men are not getting this. Even a channel called Wheat Waffles, which focuses on dating, gives terrible style advice. Please guys, do not follow this awful advice, it's dog water. And this outfit coming up here is the kind of clothes I would wear on a night out. And what you're going to notice about a lot of these clothes is that a lot of them are these slim slash muscle fit type clothing. They fit well and they wrap around my body tightly. And they work especially well if you've got a good physique, if you're quite lean. And Another bonus of baggy clothing is that it actually adds frame to your physique, making you appear bigger than you would with tight clothing. Even with your pants, you wouldn't want skin tight skinny jeans. Rather, you'd want them to be a bit more loose or perhaps even some cargo pants. The best advice I could give you for precisely how to style is to copy and replicate the sellers in the market who have the highest demand. If you know what I'm saying. I don't want to give you guys specific outfit suggestions because this one single tip I'm giving you still allows you plenty of freedom. You could keep a streetwear, maybe some more vintage look, maybe some more comfortable look, it really doesn't matter. You just have to appeal to the female gaze and there are plenty of ways to do that. For example, if you're younger, the best people to try to replicate would probably be those so-called e-boys on TikTok. Some of you guys are probably going to clown me for this advice, but while you're clowning me, someone else is going to take this advice and actually see results from it, because this is simply what the data indicates. Guys, I didn't make the rules. I'm simply observing the data. If you look in the comments of these TikTokers, it's flooded with female validation and attention. If you check the comments of a bodybuilding page, on the other hand, it's flooded with male attention. Remember, in a market, you must please the buyers, not the sellers. On the other hand, if you're older and you want to go for a more classy, more mature look, celebrities could be good to replicate. One of my personal favorite styles for a more mature look is the old money style. Remember, this tip is super simple and universal. You can put your own style on it as long as it appeals to the female gaze. Maybe you like more denim, or perhaps you're someone of Asian descent, in which case you might want to consider trying to replicate a K-pop star look, because obviously they're getting the right attention. But the best part about following this tip is that you don't even need to do all of that. You could still follow all of this with a super basic outfit from H&M. This shirt, for example, costed me just $25. This outfit in this video is also cheap. It's equally as easy to fuck it up like wheat waffles. Don't do this. And this female versus male gaze goes far beyond the style of just your clothing alone. 
This car, for example, is a male gaze car. Even accessories matter. Most jewelry is ideal for female gaze, like rings, earrings, necklaces, etc. Even your hairstyle matters. I think you guys are starting to get the point. I don't need to spell everything out and precisely tell you what outfits to wear because, again, you could be extremely individual with your choices. I just hope I made it clear which types of choices are ideal and which are not. Aim for the female gaze and you'll be golden. Why am I making this video, you may ask? Look, I'm always trying to help you guys, and that's mainly through making money in the fashion industry. But I figure, since most of you guys have an interest in fashion as well, perhaps this little tip could be helpful to some of you guys too, because I'm seeing a lot of bad advice all over the internet, and I'd hate to see some of you guys go down that route. For those of you who do want to continue profiting off of this fashion industry and many more industries, I would highly suggest you check out my group Endurance, which is linked in the description below. The resources Endurance offers goes far beyond just sneaker reselling, so if you're looking for a profitable hobby i'd really encourage you guys to check it out with that said though that's all i have for you guys today let me know if you guys would like more videos like this that go beyond just reselling information because again i really want to try to help you guys in every way i can and sometimes i can be pretty good at analyzing data that you might not have expected data is data and game is game have a great rest of your day